Behind the famous Hollywood sign, the glitz and the glamour, lies a real city, home to the nation's largest Latino population. Where rappers from South LA, fans from East LA, and rock stars from West Hollywood have revolutionized music as we know it. Where Latin artists take center stage and Hispanic culture has played a fundamental role in defining the sound of today. Welcome to LA. Welcome to LA. Welcome to LA. Today we have Latinos topping the global pop charts thanks to trailblazers with roots across this city. Let's take it from the top. Rewind! In the 19th century, people started to come to LA because of the gold rush. They came for the gold, but stayed for the silver screen. By the 1920s, LA establishes itself as the cinema capital of the world. After World War II, because many of the Hollywood film stars were also musicians, what do you work? The music industry, as we know it, began to take off. In 1956, the record label Capitol Records is founded. Its headquarters were designed to look like a stack of vinyl records, making this one of LA's most iconic buildings. It was also here where legendary crooner Nat King Cole recorded many of his songs in Espanol. But it wasn't until a few years later that we finally had our very first Latino pop star a 17-year-old cutie by the name of Richie Valens who exploded onto the scene with La Bamba, the very first Spanish-language radio hit in American pop culture. Valens paved the way for future generations of Latino musicians. With the fast-growing music scene in the city, iconic rock venues began to emerge on the now-infamous Sunset Strip here in West Hollywood. Venues like the Roxy and the Whiskey A Go Go. On the other side of the city, here in East LA, Latinos were developing their own take on rock. Just like Richie Valens a generation before, Los Lobos fused rock with traditional Mexican music. With their own rendition of La Bamba, featured in the classic Hollywood film by the same name, Los Lobos hit it big and went out touring with international superstars spreading the East LA sound around the world. At the same time, war hit number one in the Billboard charts with the classic tune, Low Rider, an homage to Chicano car culture. While we're talking about cars, more than any other city, LA is defined by traffic. I mean cars. And in every car, there's a radio! With the support of radio stations like K-Rock and KCRW, local artists were able to reach listeners outside of their neighborhoods transforming LA bands from local favorites to global stars. Even though hip hop was born in New York, it was in LA where it got its first 24 hour radio station. And that was K-Day. In South LA, a new sound that defined an era was emerging with artists like Tupac, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Hip hop has always had strong roots in Latin culture with Angelino artists like Cypress Hill, giving a voice to Latinos in the development of this music genre. By the late 90s, an American six-piece band fusing rap and hip-hop with salsa, jazz, funk and reggae formed. Famous for both their activism and wide array of musical genres, also Matley's style is known for incorporating diverse elements of LA culture and rhythms. Embodying LA's spirit also is, to this day, the most iconic multicultural band in the city. Thanks to all these pioneering Latino musicians, today LA continues to be a hotbed of new fresh sounds and fusions, represented by a new generation of emerging bands such as La Santa Cecilia, Las Cafeteras, Chicano Batman, and Cuco. Artists who undoubtedly will continue influencing music through Latin culture. So, what other Latino artists from LA do you think have made an impact in music worldwide? Let us know in the comments using the hashtag AsRuido.